Welcome to the Aston Martin stand at the Geneva Motor Show 2015. Now, over there is the Vantage GT3, but I'm going to let you go to evo.co.uk and read all about that and all the figures and stuff. So I want to talk about this because we haven't seen it before. It's just been unveiled at the show and it is frankly incredible. It's called the Volk. What a cool name. Apparently the Vulcans used to, they weren't sort of when built at Gaydon, but they used to fly in there to have their sort of final fitting. So yeah, expect to see some press shots at some point with one of these parked under a Vulcan. And yes, uh, it will break the internet, I think. So this is Aston Martin's take, I suppose, on the Ferrari FXX program. So they're building 24 of these. It's 1.5 million pounds plus local taxes. So just under two million pounds in the UK. And it is track only. It's got a huge amount of aero on it. There's a huge front of there, around the back with the big rear wing, and enormous rear diffuser. But they're saying that it's going to be a very neutral aero balance, or at least that's what they're going for, so that gentlemen drivers won't find it too intimidating. How you could not find it intimidating when it has a seven litre naturally aspirated V12 underneath the bonnet. They're looking for 800 brake horsepower. They're saying it's probably going to be about 850 brake horsepower in the end, which is Frankly, phenomenal, 1350 kilos, so it's not exactly pushing around a great deal either. Inside, well, it's not going to be a completely sort of stripped out race car, it's going to have sort of carbon fiber and Alcantara details, so it's all sort of it is a it has a certain luxury feeling to it, despite being see, essentially a race car. There's going to be a program with Darren Turner, so you can go into his simulator uh, and then sort of build your way up through sort of V12 Vantage uh, GTE. They reckon this will lap Le Mans faster than their GTE car, which is pretty incredible, I think you'll agree. Um, yeah, it's going to be launched, probably we'll see it the first time, they reckon, in the summer, sort of probably June time, which there's a certain race, I gather, that goes on sort of uh, around about sort of 24 hours, perhaps, so that's, that's when we're thinking we might see it. Full carbon tub, carbon fiber bodywork, what else can I tell you about it? It just looks immensely cool. So I've just been told one more thing about this. The aero apparently is going to blow people away. 1,300 kilos of downforce at just under 200 miles an hour, which means it's got almost, almost enough to drive on the ceiling. So the seven litre V12 obviously has exhausts here from which I'm reliably informed there will be flames leaping, which is pretty cool. Uh, it's, the engine's not actually related at all to the 177. In fact, the, the whole car, despite some people have been saying it's sort of going to be oh, a, a track-only version of the 177, it's not. The carbon tub and carbon body panels and the engine are all really completely different. Perhaps the, the lower part of the tub is related to the 177, but apart from that, um, it is entirely new. The engine has been developed by Aston Martin Racing as well. Uh, it's not, uh, obviously, the one which was developed by Cosworth, which went into the 177. Gearbox is the six-speed sequential from X-Track. Um, it's fair to say it's a pretty intimidating looking car. I love the view at the back. Uh, those have always sort of bottle brush uh, rear lights look extremely cool. But it's, it's quite intimidating. It's 2.2 meters wide, this car, but it gives it a very imposing look. They're gonna have a track program, so I'm sure circuits like Spa, and, uh, and Silverstone, for that matter, would, would suit a car like this. Let us know what you think. They're only building 24. I think there are a few left if you want to get your order in now. Let us know, leave comments on the boxes below on YouTube and go to Facebook and Twitter and all that sort of thing. And remember to go to the Evo website to find out more about the GT3 as well.